guys, my name is Missy Mo. Welcome to my page and I am so glad that you're here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about water retention and what to do and if you're holding it on, holding on to it and maybe why you're holding on to it because sometimes I don't think we think about these things as much as we should and I just want you to know that there are some reasons why you're holding on to water. And maybe you haven't thought about these things, but I know for me, this used to bug me so much. Whenever I would like get on the scale and I would see like an increase in um, my weight, and then I would not see a decrease. Like there might be a couple of days that would go by and I would maybe still be increasing. It. And there's a few things that are happening when, you know, in your, inside your body that you need to be aware of. And so anyway, I just wanted to like say thank you so much for being here. We're going to talk a little bit more about this. Um, but also I wanted to like uh, let you know that I am a health and fitness coach. I love helping people with their mindset about their health and their nutrition and fitness as well because sometimes changing old patterns and old behaviors is really hard and it's really difficult but that's what I love to do and I love helping women especially busy moms like just learn how to be more confident in their own skin and to know that it's okay that you are not perfect that you're not like you know you don't have this like rock and bod or you need to lose some weight or what have you it's okay that you have you're not where you want to be and it's okay to have like aspirations and goals you know but there's balance in all of that like because you have to maintain um, a level of acceptance in yourself to where you can still be you know that mom that you need to be to your children and to your grandchildren and I know this for a fact because I've been there I've done that I've done the crazy crash diets I've done the silly you know stuff that everybody has done but I'm here to tell you and to share with you that some of that stuff doesn't work most of it doesn't work and it's not lasting it's not sustainable and so that's my my purpose is to be here and to kind of like just help you figure this out because I know that hard stuff is you know like doing hard is really hard and I want to help you like figure it out because if I figured it out then maybe you need to you can figure it out too not maybe you can all right so I'm so glad you guys are here and just want to say hi to a couple of people that I see that are watching Emmy uh, Emmy May and Shaney and Shanna and Deborah Annette Nicole and Barb thanks for getting on um, I got my dogs out here with me so bear with me <laughs> um, in case you like hear them like they're getting excited because I started mentioning people's names <laughs> but anyway all right so let's talk all right, so there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. If you are having like some fluid retention, if you have maybe done a workout, okay? Like you are new at working out or you maybe have done like an extra workout or you may have done, oops, sorry. You may have done a workout that was taxing, that was really, really hard. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Um, on your body, okay? Well, you have to understand that your body Okay, your muscles are being injured whenever you work out, okay? And I know that's kind of hard to, to understand um, if, you, if you're not aware of this, but you have to realize that your body, your body is just like, as your muscles are just like as if you like cut yourself, you know, you cut your finger and, you know, there's gonna be pain <laughs> and there's gonna be a, flu uh, you know, a, um, an influx of like white blood cells and fluid and, everything going straight to your finger to try to repair it okay well whenever you do a hard workout like I did on Monday I'll use myself as an example where I did my the Murph challenge my legs are still sore today okay and this is coming from someone that works out you know pretty much six days a week now I you know I do you know workouts and I work hard but I didn't do, I don't do 300 you know push I mean I don't do 300 squats every day and I don't do 200 push-ups in the same day in the same hour and a hundred pull-ups in that same hour plus run two miles right okay I, I did it on the elliptical but still you get the point 
that's not a normal workout for Missy, all right? So my muscles are so sore, and so what happens is that your body is like, basically telling, your, your, your body is coming to, this res to the rescue. Your, your, um, you know, your central nervous system is saying, there is an injury here, these muscles are sore, so I need to go and help aid. So what's happening is all, hey, hi, I don't know who said hi, but hi. Um, <laughs> um, your muscles are, com you know, your muscles are needing to be repaired. So what's gonna happen is that you are going to have an influx of fluid, an influx of white blood cells, an influx of just basically just blood that's going there to try to repair your body. Well, what, what that means is that, guess what? You're not gonna be letting go of the of fluid in the rest of your body. You're not going, you're gonna be holding on to fluid and you're gonna be retaining fluid. That's just one example. So the scale the next day after you do a hard workout may be up. And the thing is, is that if you get caught in, if you're in that diet mindset where you're trying to like lose weight and all this stuff and you get caught up in like, oh my God, I did this hard workout. I'm working out so hard, but the scale is not moving. That is what can trip you up all right yes with a 10 pound vest <laughs> um that's what can trip you up okay because that that number on the scale is basically just a, a tool it's just a number that's saying okay she you know missy worked out hard and so her body's repairing itself but if you don't if you're not aware of this it can totally trip you up so just be mindful of that also, like if you are not resting at night, if you're not sleeping at night, your body is going to hold on to some fluid to try to recover. Your body is not going to release all of the fluid that it needs to. If you are, um, you know, eating a lot of sodium, if you're having a lot of salt and in intake in salt, and there's hidden salts everywhere, right? And so be mindful of what you're eating. Stop if it's too salty. Don't add table salt. You know, the one thing that I always try to stress to my clients is that switch over from white table salt, iodized salt, to pink Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt. You want to have your salt in the most natural form because you don't want all the chlorination that happens in salt that makes it white and pretty because that's a chlorinating process, which is not what your body needs. Your body does not need any kind of chlorinated anything in it because that affects your hormones in a negative way, all right? So all of these little things, these little intricacies are very, very important and they can really help you understand how sensitive your body is to letting go of certain, of letting go of the fluid in you. But if you are, if you are jacking with your hormones by, you know, using white table salt to steal, then that could be a problem for you if you can't like let go of the weight. If you've been doing everything that you know of to do to lose weight, you're eating healthy, you're eating clean, you are working out, you know, you're tracking, you're, you know, you know, you're sleeping well at night, but you're still using white salt, you know, and this is even whites, they don't use, you know, pink Himalayan salt in some of our Cajun seasonings down here in the South um, for you guys that are, you know, following me, you know, in Tony's, there's not, you know, there's not white, there's not pink Himalayan salt in your Tony seasoning. Those are things that have hidden, hidden salt. If there's hidden factors in there that you need to be aware of. Um, also like any kind of other mixed seasonings. So try to use seasonings that are not mixed, even though they may not have MSG in them, the salt that they're putting in those seasonings, um, may not they may be just the white table salt salt so just make sure because that will totally wreck your hormones okay so the other thing too is is you know what you know are you eating enough vegetables are you filling up on enough vegetables to where your body and your digestive system is like clearing things out because veggies are really 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 important and even though you don't like them there are so many different accessories or so many different little things that you can do to them to make them taste better to make you know to sneak them in just like you have to do with a child you know you can make zucchini you know low-fat brownies you know you can you can do so many different things you can you know add them to your you know your smoothies you can uh, they don't taste like you can add carrots to your smoothies you can add um, zucchini I did that day before yesterday because I didn't have any like spinach and spinach and zucchini it does not take it does not change the taste of your smoothies um, 
be, it, but it does, you know, allow you to have a little bit more, you know, help, it, it allows you to have more greens and you need enough greens during the day to where your body can like function because you need those micronutrients to where they can get into your cells because as you may know, there's macros and micros. And so, um, and maybe you don't, but your macros are basically your proteins and your fats and your carbs, but then your micros, those are the micronutrients that your body needs. That's whenever you break down the veggies and you break down, um, you know, the fats and the healthy fats and you break down all your, all the nutrients into the cell, basically into the micronutrients where you get your vitamins and your minerals. Those are, the, the key factors that you need those are the micronutrients so you want to make sure that you're you're getting all of these um all of these natural you know and you want to get make sure you're getting them in a natural state which would be in the veggie state right so that's just a that's just a few things that just to be mindful of and i hope you know these tips have helped you because sometimes we can just be so hard on ourselves whenever we see that scale go up and I just want you I want you to be free from that I want you to be free from that fear of the scale I want you to be free from the mindset of thinking that you're doing something wrong if you are gaining or you know and and maybe it's because you're just working out and how, 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 how sad is that if you give up on your workouts because you feel because you feel like you're gaining weight whenever what you're doing is your body's needing to recover and you're not gaining weight it's gonna all shake out in the end but you know just think of it you know if you're trying to lose weight just make sure that you are monitoring and you're tracking what you're putting into your body because that says a lot you need to be drinking a lot of water at least half of your weight in water right because you need to have your kidneys working for you not against you and you need to like be filtering out everything so also know that if you're taking in any caffeinated beverages then for every caffeinated beverage you need to add eight ounces of water I know you don't want to hear that <laughs> because not everybody likes water but we have to do this. We have to understand. No one is getting any younger, people. It's like, that's just it. We're not getting any younger. We have to know that everything that we've done to our bodies since the times, time we were young has affected us and not so much in a good way, right? And so we have to start slowly moving into a new direction and being open-minded to learning a new way because if not, then you're just gonna stay stuck. And who wants to stay stuck? If you're not happy with where you're at and you're not happy with your results, then you need to like think about this and you need to like say, okay, what can I do to m make a change? And I promise you that once you start making a few tweaks and you start realizing that you are, you are needing to make a few tweaks and then you start getting a positive re a positive result from those tweaks then guess what happens you start like you know it falls from your head down to your heart and you're like I got this you know I can do this but remember we're always learning we're always you know we're always learning I someone says we love you oh thank you I don't know who's saying this but anyway I wish I knew um, thank you so much um, we you know we we have to realize that that what I guess you know what our moms and you know what our moms and grandmothers and everybody did you know is not what is right necessarily for us like I mean nutrition is like a whole big like thing that I want to just you know get into with everybody and try to like help you as much as I possibly can to understand this and I I'm gonna just do my best to do that and because that's where the key is the key is in your nutrition and how you are taking care of your body um, and you know just moving your body just go and walk but if you can't walk because you have an injury you can't walk because of you know of something then that's okay you're not stuck like you are you still can have change you can still make changes happen in your body and in your life but you can still lose weight even if you are not you know working out intensely and that's the thing because you know you always hear that and maybe you don't but let me just tell you you know abs are made in the kitchen not in the gym and it took me a long time to understand that because I always thought that I could outwork that piece of cake on the weekends that I had I always thought that I could outwork 
that whatever, those french fries. I could always outwork that Chick-fil-A sandwich, you know, or whatever I was eating. I always thought I could outwork it, but the truth of the matter is you can't outwork a bad diet. You can't outwork new, bad nutrition. It's not gonna happen and you're gonna beat yourself up against a wall enough times and you know that it, it, it might take that many times like it took me but four years ago I realized whenever I became a health and fitness coach I just knew that you know I needed to make a change and I you know lost this you know seven pounds and ten inches off my body by making some changes and incorporating like you know super a superfood shake into my into my nutrition and I started being more consistent with my workouts and more intentional with my nutrition and my water and things started to happen. It's been four years and I don't see anything changing. I see myself only getting better and better and stronger and more cut and more defined. And so therefore, I am reversing the aging process because I'm 47 years old and I'm not, I mean, I've seen women you know, that are in their 50s and 60s that look at freaking phenomenal. And you know what? It is possible. Now, you know, anything is possible. And so I think that if you think about that and you trust and just believe that you can do whatever you set your mind to, because I remember six, five and six years ago, like seeing this chick that was in her 40s and she had these rocking abs and, I, and she was working out on, on uh, you know, on Facebook. And I was like, who is this girl? How does she do this? You know, she was like a mom and a this, you know, and all this stuff. And I was just like, how, how is that possible? And I remember like, just having like thinking like, is this really possible? And it is, I mean, y'all have seen my abs. I mean, I have them, you know, yeah, they, you know, they show up more some days whenever I'm more cut than others, but you know, that's just part of life. You're not gonna stay and maintain that physique all the time. I mean, that's just not reality. And I, it took me a while, it took me a while to learn that. I I wanted to like always be that cut look or whatever, like, you know, and, and it's not possible. It's not attainable. It's not sustainable, let's just say that. It is attainable to have it, because I've been there, done that, and I'm sure some of you guys that are on here listening to me have done, been there, done that too, but it's not a healthy, sustainable, because you're, you know, <laughs> you need to sleep, you need to eat, you can't just live on like a clean, clean, extra clean diet for a long period of time. And I mean, and I never even did any of the competitions that those ladies go through um, as far as their nutrition and reeling in that nutrition. But what a letdown, right? Whenever you come off of that, type of, um, hey, someone's saying, hi coach. <laughs> hi, I wish I could see what the heck y'all are saying. Anyway, I can't, all right. Um, but uh, I can see what you're saying, but I just don't know who's saying it. Maybe that's the better answer. Um, so I just want you to know that that's like such a letdown. I know it would have been for me. That's why I've never done a competition because I mean, I did hammer and chisel and I got my body to this certain level or whatever. And then whenever I, you know, and I did 80 day obsession and I got it to that level two without doing the time nutrition. And that was my goal is to prove that um, anybody could do, still do 80 day obsession and do a, um, um, a, a phone, you know just basically a, a nutrition plan that was not less necessarily time nutrition and so restrictive um, but still had portion control you know with it and I did I mean I got those results I got the abs you know which I had but I just you know like had shredded them out a little bit but that's not something that I want to maintain all the time now it's summertime and yes it's time for the beach and whenever I'm gonna get ready for, to go to the beach and be and put my bikini on, yeah, I'm gonna look great because I know what to do. I know how to make that happen. And I know that it's hard, you know, it's gonna be hard work, but I'm up for the game. It's nothing harder than I have. I just have to like reel in that nutrition. You know, so what? I might not have a little, uh, you know, as many treats as I get to have now, but that's part of it, right? <laughs> that's all part of it. And it's a learning process. So just know that it's just, everything is a learning process. And the more you know, the better everything is because that gives you control whenever and I know for me that's one thing with my health and nutrition that was the only thing that this chick could control was what I put in my mouth and 
what my workouts could be. If I could do those two things, there wasn't a lot of my, in my life that I could control whenever you know we were um, going through a lot of financial difficulties in um, our, our marriage and our life, our family life. I mean, like, you know, there's been a lot of things you know it's not just the highlight reel that you guys may see now but <clears throat> I just want you to know that I used health and nutrition as my you know my therapy so to speak and I would go all in and I would forget about everything else in that 30 to 45 minutes and I still do that today like that's my saving grace that is it that's my war room have you ever seen the you know the movie war room well that my gym or my workout room or my living room whenever it was that that was my war room right and that's where it all happens you know I leave it all there and I'm done and then I work on my nutrition you know and so those two things together you can you're, you can be unstoppable and whenever you see the progress that you're making then you get this sense of control that you are doing something for yourself that you hello <laughs> that you can that you can maintain and you know yes it's hard but it's worth it because you're worth it you are worth it like I know you are because I'm, if I'm worth it and I know that I'm worth it then I know that you are worth it and you're worth taking the time that it's gonna take to learn what you need to learn to make it happen for yourself and that's the most important thing is that you understand that and no one nobody can take that away you have to just know that you are worth it. And if you gotta tell yourself that every single solitary day, that you're worth it and that you are going to succeed on your mission, you know, to lose whatever you want, lose however many pounds, or to, you know, get into whatever size you wanna get into, you know, then that's your, that's you, that's your, that's your deal. You can do that. You know, I did it and you can do it too. I mean, you know, and no one, I mean, and someone that can go from, you know, lose, I guess, how many sizes did I lose? Like three sizes in, in 56 days and maintained it for four years? Anything is possible. At 47 years old, let's just not forget that, all right? So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I love you and thank y'all so much. And if this has helped you in any way, make sure that you share it out so somebody else can be, you know, help because that's what this is all about. It's about trying to like help other women. My goal is to help other women, other busy mamas, like, you know, learn how to just believe in themselves enough to like get, you know, what they want out of life as far as, you know, their health and nutrition and just feeling better about themselves. All right, so take care and I'll talk to y'all later, bye.